Good afternoon, everyone. Today, for this video, I'm going to read you the full origin story of the inspired pig boy and how he got inspired. Let's begin. The First Adventure of the Inspired Pig Boy I've had a lot of adventures for such a joyful pig. Now I'm going on a new adventure, and it's going to be big. First, let me tell you about my past to give you a clue about what I'm going to do next. When I was a baby pig, my mother hadn't given me a name. Then, something horrible happened. A giant wolf came. He came to our brick house, and the wolf's name was Mr. Wordsmith. He scared my mother in her white blouse. But just in time, a shepherd appeared to punish Mr. Wordsmith for his crime. As the wordsmith fled, the shepherd was looking for his white sheep who ran away, while I fell asleep in my mother's loving arms. The shepherd commented, your baby pig looks so peaceful as a boy, which led my mother to say, Eureka! I'll call him my inspired pig boy. Thank you, Mr. Shepherd, for saving us. By my mother's loving word, I was dubbed the inspired pig boy. Now I'm going on a new adventure to bring white sheep some joy. I plan to reunite him with his beloved shepherd, whom he ran away from. It's the least I can do to help the two of them and to say thank you. The Childhood of the Inspired Pig Boy Before we continue on this journey to reunite White Sheep with his shepherd, let me tell you the rest of my origin story, the origin you haven't heard. As the years began to pass, I grew up to be a happy pig, a pig who frolicked through the grass, a pig who played in the mud, and a pig who was almost on time for class. My life was a truly happy one, but how did I get inspired? To answer that question, before I get tired, let me tell you about my parents, whose son they sired. At the right time, my mother told me about the wordsmith and his wicked rhyme. She told me about this wicked Lycos, that he would pay for his crime, and that his judgment was close. My mother was visibly traumatized by the wordsmith experience, for she could barely utter his name without feeling so tense. So I went to see my father to see what he could tell me. Little did I know, this was the beginning of my inspirational story. The creation of the inspired pig boy. This was the moment that changed everything. Try to contain your excitement while I tell the story of my beginning. My inspiration began the day I went to see my father. He was as mad as a South American toucan. I don't want to be coy, but it all started when my father said, Pig boy, pig boy, you're so fat and pathetic. I can't believe you're my son. You make me sick. The wordsmith may have fled, but your mother's still upset about the horrible things he said. Pig boy, pig boy, quit being so happy and get yourself a job, or I promise you'll be sorry. Hurt and upset by my father's insensitive conversation, I ran into the wilderness while the wordsmith enjoyed his manipulation. For he put those words in my father's head. He was trying to destroy my inspiration and put it to bed. But my inspiration was something the wordsmith could not destroy. For deep in the wilderness, I heard a distressed white sheep call my name. Pig boy, pig boy. Our friendship would lead to the return of my inspiration and the restoration of my joy. Please pray this prayer with me if you will. Bow your heads. Lord Jesus, I come to you now in your holy name. Lord Jesus, 
I have sinned against your father and in his sight. I ask for your forgiveness for the sins I have committed and the sins I have committed inside my heart. Lord Jesus, I ask that you would come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. And let not my will be done, but your Father's will. In your name, Lord Jesus, I ask all these things. Amen. Thank you for listening, and God bless you all. Goodbye!